discussing the AB. Answer the following questions. So first question, why do we need a house? That one all of you know, we need a house to live with our family. We also need protection from extreme weather conditions, wild animals or thieves. Houses protects us from all of these. Yes, it. So these things we can keep us safe in our house. We are using house as our shelter. So the next question, second question. What are two different types of houses? Is it? So the answer is the two different types of houses are Gacha house and the Paka house. The different type of other houses also you know that the temporary house, the caravan, the bamboo house, the boat house, the tree house, these things also you know. And the next one that means the third one, what are temporary houses? Okay. So temporary houses, so temporary houses are built by people who live in a particular place only for a specific time. Iglo is an example of temporary house. And the next one, that means the fourth one, what are mobile houses? Mobile houses, the houses that can be moved from one place to another are called mobile houses. Is it? So that means you can move it from one place to another place. That one is called the mobile houses. Is it clear? So we have completed this one. Now we are going to discuss the bill. Fill up the following blanks using clue kit. So here clue kits are given using those kit you have to fill the blanks. So first one Dash houses are built of wood, cement, steel and bricks. So what should be the answer? Answer should be the Paka house. So P U C C A. Paka house is the answer. Next one. Dash houses are made up of mud and straw. What should be the answer? The answer should be the Kacha house. A U T C H A is it? And what about the third one? Material including cotton, canvas, nylon, felt, and polyester is used for dash. What should be the answer? Cotton, canvas, this one is used where? To make the tent. So the answer should be tent. Is it clear? Next one, if you will see that the fourth one, dash and dash are temporary house. What are the temporary house? The tents and igloos, they are the temporary house. So here you have to write tent, T-E-N-T-S, tents and igloos, I-G-L-O-O-S. A close are temporary houses. Is it clear? Next one, the last one. Houses that can be moved from place to place are called dash house. What should be the answer? Mobile house. The answer should be mobile house. M O B I L. Mobile house. Is it clear? Now the C. Write yes. Or no for the following statements. So here different statements are given. If the statement is correct, you have to write yes. And if that one is not correct, you have to write no. So first one, drawing room is used for cooking food. Is it correct? No, it is not correct. So you have to write inside the bracket no. Next, the burger houses are temporary house. Baka houses are temporary houses. Is it correct or not? No, that one is also not correct because they are the permanent house. So here you have to write no. Is it? Next one, 
Tents and igloos are temporary houses. Is it correct? Yes. That one is correct. Correct sentence. So you have to write yes inside the bracket. Next, the fourth one. Caravans are very strong and last for a long period of time. Yes, it is. So whatever, is it correct or not? What is your caravans are very strong. Are they actually? They are not very strong. So you have to write here no. Next one, fifth one. In cities, many people live in flats. Yes, that one is correct. So you have to write inside bracket. Yes. Is it clear? So all the things you have to first think logically. If that one is correct, then you have to write yes. Otherwise, you have to write no. Now the D bit. Look at the picture and write the right name of the house with the help of the clues given in the box. So all of you are able to see the pictures. Is it? So how, what is their correct name? You have to write it. So first one, all of you know that one. That one is the tent. Is it? Then just next to the first one, that one is the kacha house. Next, that after kacha house, that one is a igloo. Afterwards, that one is nothing but a tree house. Next, the last one, that one is the caravan. And down, the first one is the paka house. Is it? Next, after paka house, that one is the bamboo house. That one is made of bamboo. Is it? Afterwards, if you see, that one is nothing but a apartment. So many flats are there. Is it? And the last one is the what? That one is the houseboat. Is it? So all the things are completed. Now the E bit. In which type of house do you live and do you like it? Draw a picture of your house. So where you are living, so what is the type of your house? Is it kacha house? Is it paka house? Or is it any other kind of house? You have to write. And afterwards you have to write, do you like it? Then is it comfortable for you? So you have to write that one. And you have to draw the picture of your house like that. It may be paka house, it may be kacha house, whatever may be. You have to draw it here. Is it clear? Now we are going to for the discussion a bit. What material is used for the construction of the following houses? Collect information and fill in the space provided. So here what you have to do? Here the different houses names are there. With the help of which raw material they are being prepared, they are being built, you have to write. So all of you know that the Papa house, that one is made of what thing? The wood, bricks, steel, cement, iron. These are the raw materials for the manufacture of the Papa house, is it? Next, the what about the Kacha house? That one is made of mud and straws. Strong, is it? So, what about the igloo? We all know that igloos are made of the ice slabs. Ice, is it? Next, what about the tent? Tents are made of nylon polyester. Next, the houseboat. Houseboat are generally made of on a wooden wooden plank. Is it? So, one wooden plank should be there above on the wooden plank, the house, the different rooms are there. Next, what about the tree house? That one is made of the timber, wood and wood material. Is it? So, this is all about the different raw material. Now, it's time to do the project. So, first one, clean your house surroundings. So anyhow your house is surrounding, you should keep clean. You can take the help from your friend.
from your neighbors, from the elders also. So anyhow, you have to keep them clean. The garbage, whatever is present there, you have to uh, shift them from that place, is it? So these kind of things you have to do. The second one, grow plants at your home to reduce pollution. So whatever pollution is there, you have to reduce. But how can you do this? You can do this with the help of plantation. If you will do more uh, plantation, more tree plantation on that time, you will get these benefits. You can reduce the problem, this pollution you can reduce. And the thing is there, don't throw here and there different garbage. Is it so? You should throw the garbage in the proper place in the dustbin that will also should be covered. Is it? So these things you should do. The plantation is very important for our daily life. So whenever you can uh, uh, plant the different trees on that time, more amount of oxygen will come around us in our environment. So as a result of it, we will be benefited. Next one. Draw different types of houses. That means all of you know that so many kind of houses you know. So you have to draw about these all the tree house, apartments, igloo, baka house, kacha house, caravan, tent, boat house, bamboo house. This all the things you can draw here. Is it clear? And the thing is there after learning these things what you have to do that the so many children are residing in the pavements is it oh, that means in the slum areas and they don't have any proper um, drinking water system any proper drainage system is it and the atmosphere also is not the hygienic so that's why you have to take care of them also that what they are doing you have to know about them so if they are facing any problem so on that time you can help little and not the full uh, change it is not possible but if you can do help for little bit you should definitely do so all of you go through the lesson and prepare well for our online